Hello friends, welcome back to my channel on Priscilla's Review Hub. Today I'm going to unbox a 14-inch cast iron wok and I purchased this online from Lodge and this is not a sponsored video. This has been purchased for my very own kitchen use. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So here is my gorgeous 14 inch cast iron wok. Uh, this is made in the US and it comes with a crisp description on how to use and what all can be used for. Uh, pretty straightforward description on the product details. All right, so coming to this authentic 14 inch cast iron wok, it offers a very generous cooking surface and it is in a sloped design that makes uh, makes short work of any dish, right? And it has dual handle for easy balancing. And uh, the bottom is flat and it's kind of ideal for all cookware surfaces, including induction gas stove. And um, it's also seasoned and it is ready to use. It is seasoned with 100% natural vegetable oil and uh, it has a very even heating uh, it is safe to use in the oven on the stove top on the grill coming to the measurements the length from handle to handle is about 18.6 inches and the height of this is about 4.43 inches and the width from end to end is about 14. 56 inches and is the total weight of this product is about 10.8 pounds this is pretty heavy because it's cast iron 100 percent cast iron it is heavy without any food in it just yet but makes every cooking absolutely delicious uh, it has a very nice uh, deep surface and it has it's very sturdy so this 14 inch cast iron wok is perfect for stir frying making any kind of fish curries or just fried rice or any any deep frying if you have a large quantity that you want to deep fry this makes a perfect dish and uh, even heats up very evenly so the benefits of cooking in a cast iron is it is first of all non-stick chemical free it has a long lifespan so possibly one of the greatest cast iron skillet health benefit is that it adds iron to your food so people who are having have iron deficiency or suffer from iron deficiency, cooking with cast iron pans can help increase your iron content as much as 20 times. So this definitely has a health benefit and not only health benefit, uh, the food turns out delicious. So I will leave a link in my description box below on the recipe that I'm going to make on the, in this cookware so you can see how the cooking happens and how well this cooks. Um, in this 14 inch wok. So here I want to display it on my gas stove top to show you how uh, how it actually occupies the space on the gas stove and how well it sits on the gas stove. So this is how it is on the gas stove. I'm using it on the back burner for now and pretty sturdy. It's very well balanced and the surface of this cast iron will get pretty hot so make sure you use precautionary mittens to handle specifically the cast iron cookware so here are some tips on how to care for your um, cast iron cookware so once you're finished cooking uh, try to immediately wash off the cookware and do not leave it in the uh, sink with water in it cast iron tends to rust quickly so, but if if it is washed right away and uh, cared for it will last you a lifetime uh, all you have to do is uh, with the help of a liquid detergent and with the help of a soft sponge you can quickly clean off your cookware and uh, rinse off all the water and with the help of a, a paper towel or a washcloth or any kitchen towel you have you can just quickly wipe down 
the water and make sure that it's completely pat dried. There's no water at all. And you can add a few drops of oil and you can just season it with oil. Another option you can do is once you pat dry it, you can also uh, turn it on on the gas stove. Uh, let it heat up for about two to three minutes to make sure there's no water at all. And on top of that, you can then add two to three drops of vegetable oil, any cooking oil that you have on hand, and just make sure you are wearing mittens because uh, at that point, uh, when you reheat the cookware, it will tend to get hot again. Uh, so be careful, be, use precaution when you are handling hot cast iron, and just make sure you kind of polish it off with a little bit of vegetable oil inside and out and your cookware is ready to be used again. I hope this video was informational. Uh, if you have any further questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Happy cooking. God bless.